the commentators. <laughs> Sounds like an interesting uh, thing to do. It could be possible. This could be anyone's tournament. It Wait, is. Uh, it still feels like it's anyone's tournament. Yeah. Well, I am very confident in New 47's ability to get insane conversions and just play a patient neutral. PK also does have like a really like a pretty decent zoning game. And New 47 might struggle against that considering that like all his characters kind of struggle against projectiles. Mm -hmm. So it will be interesting to see how both of them play against each other, like the dynamic. Alright. Seems like they're getting ready. And so we shall begin. Oh no, you you're wrong! He, I'm wrong? Is, Did I see a Luigi? He's picking out the Enderman. Okay. Oh boy. Enderman versus Ken. Okay. Very, very weird matchup. I do not know how this will go. Mm -hmm. I don't think Ken has good tools to interact with the blocks, but New Boy is not gonna start up the game with a quick 56% string. Yep, the 632 into the forward air just putting in so much oh work my for God, a new pair. He could be retaliating with an uphill string himself and doing a whopping 50% and stacking up another up smash on top of that, doing like 90% right now. Yep, ooh, wow. and he gets the forward air up smash almost. Anyways. Yeah. This, this is so much damage in the first few like seconds of the match. It hasn't even been a whole minute yet, and both of them are almost dead already. Oh yeah. God. This is so volatile. PK Eats isn't as used to building away in order to get blocks, but he does feel like he has the boxing game kind of down. Yeah. He'll take it, he'll take the stone. He has a golden good now. He can go for a kill with Minecart. Jumps out of it early. Alright, let's go back here. Chef. Strong yeah, hit. Alright, the, the power Minecart will take the stock for, for PKs against New 47. Now New 47 is going to have to find the answer to dealing with uh, the various technical strings that PK Eats has. I'm surprised that PK Eats is showing, showing some semblance of a pickaxe loop combo there. I yeah, can't do I think, those. <laughs> I think PK Eats is definitely a type of player which will like lab out like a lot of like technical setups when he can. Right. Well, the, the no amount of technical setups will allow him to uh, escape that sure you can combo right there. I, I think you're wrong there. He was about to check the block, trust me. <laughs> Maybe. Perhaps. In Perhaps. some alternate timeline. Yeah, but New 47 gets S smash in his face for his troubles of trying to spot dodge or whatever option he was expecting. Yeah, the, it now, looked like the minecart in the instant replay was a threat there, and New 47 didn't want to get grabbed, but unfortunately, Eats is there to cover. Yeah, now PK is with the diamond. He's looking very comfortable in his current position. Wow, he almost just shield broke it. He's dropped the TNT and the... Oh wow. PK is going for the deep edge guard with the... Uh... Oh my god, another anvil. Alright, 104%. I'm surprised okay. PK Eats is actually very used to using the booster Eli uh, Elytra. Yeah. As, as I, I can't do that. He's just very proficient in having a lot of technical things about technical characters. Well, mm -hmm. that yeah, smash isn't technical, but it both seal a deal for him. Yeah, it is the best play, as recommended by the engine. Wow. Okay, and uh... Wow! That was a really, really convincing first game from PK Eats. I think New Poison will definitely want to consider another character from here. From here right. Maybe. Or maybe he'll defy the expectations of the commentators, just like PK Eats, and decide to stick with Ken once more. Who knows? Well, I, I didn't say anything about him switching characters. I'm still expecting nothing in particular, you know? True, but you know anything could be, could be possible. Anything is possible. I choose to believe that it helps me live my day-to-day -day life. Yeah. All right. I'm interested to see what kind of stage he'll go to. I think New Forty Seven will definitely want to pick a smaller stage so he has an easier time closing the gap and finding more convert, finding more openings to start his conversions. And uh, yeah. I would like to see more of a Eats Enderman. It feels like it plays differently from all the Steves that I've seen. Like uh, 67 and Yes and Yeah, those are the two main points for comparison, right? Yeah, definitely. They're like definitely like the biggest Steves in Southeast Asia. Maybe the only two. Yeah. Maybe. Or maybe you can slap PKs in the mix as well. 
<laughs> and XEQ kind of played Steve as well before he left. Nice. He played him in friendlies. He was one of the only people who used Alt for. Yeah, Com our... compared to uh, who do you call it? Compared to PK, he hasn't played much more of a simpler style Steve, where he just like focuses on like the uh, the material the... management. Yeah, the material management and kind of boxing people out with his diamond tools and yeah. Oh wow, he's gonna counter pick to the Ryu! Mm -hmm. and... Makes sense, he wants to have a projectile to be able to contest the mining when there are no blocks yeah. up. And if I'm, if I'm not wrong, I think Ryu's side B beats most projectiles, so I think it might be minecart, though that might be kind of a far threat, we'll have to see how that, how that interacts. Yeah, New wow. 47 is going to show us the feature. Oh, the Shakunets actually is a response to minecart. On some level, we will have to wait for Yeats to get yeah. the gold ingots to, to see if it pushes through for Noob. Yeah, Noob 47 has already built up like a solid like 70% of PK Yeats, but PK is doing a solid job at mining on platforms and kind of just running out of uh, the range of Noob 47's uh, various threatening tools. And just like that, he's already swung the game in his favor in terms of percentage. Yep, the minecart putting in work for him. Ooh, he doesn't get to punish the focus attack. That's unfortunate. Yeah. But now he builds the wall. Yeah, and Noob, okay. and PK just takes stock just like that. Yep. I think Noob, Noob 47, 47. Needs, needs to slow down his uh, his approach to the game and like the way he tries to break out of uh, PK his uh, strings and like wall. Because right now it seems like he's doing he's being quite telegraphed in his approaches to uh, how to play PK he's mining. And it's kind of biting him, biting him. Then again, maybe Ryu just doesn't have that much movement mix up options available to bait out the PK he's trying to like mine and use certain options, so I'm not too sure. Eats with another ingot. And he found a diamond which he can prop onto himself Ooh. in the next stock. The um, Crescent Kick, I believe, takes stock for Noob no 47. Yep. 71% on deck. And of course, he's going to craft the diamonds as soon as he spawns. He has no... Yeah. He gets the residual iron from losing a stock, but other than that, he doesn't have very many material. He's just Ooh. going to see if he can get them. I he's like going to get his hands on... I use of uh, focus attack to tank through the minecart, then to uh, punish PKEs. Oh boy. Proximity jab. Mitchoryu is quite a threat. Ooh. Noob 47 released the down B at the same time as wow. PK Yeats tried to ferry him. He detonates the uh, TNT with the shotgun at two, since he has five properties. That was pretty good, but... Maybe that's why he picked Ryu. <laughs> I, I would have never thought of that. Oh, that's and crazy. now Yeats has the stones. These are much harder to break, so they're going to give Yeats a lot of time to mine. Uh, materials. But Ooh. now he's stuck without a pickaxe. Yeah. As I expected, the side, Ryu side B will be strong enough to tank through the minecart and take the stock. I guess both of those things explain the matchup choice from New 47. Yeah. Shotgun is gonna break the minecart. Kind of just explaining itself as we watch the match more and more. Quite interesting. <laughs> minecart away. TNT. And now, PK Yeats is just going to allow the TNT to sit there while he mines for materials. New 47 matches up a bit too early and gets entired by. Uh, back, back here. Hmm, yeah, that is true. I don't think there's a good time to mesh out of minecart. Yeah. It just doesn't feel like it. Minecart is just such a good option. <laughs> oh boy, the air dodges from me to make him look a little antsy. Oh, oh no, New Force wish misses that whip punch. That could have been, been his game. But right now, look, it's looking very close. Eats needs a new set of materials. Yeah, he does survive, this... but he needs to find an opening to craft it, and it might not be the easiest thing. Oh no, yep. he gets the diamond materials right now, and he might just like... Oh no, did he? I can't tell. <laughs> the first gold ingot that he gets here is going to be huge. Oh, he gets time down back air in space with all his troubles. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh boy. That was a very close game. game. Noob 47 was trying to go for or 3 focus attack. That would have closed the game out for him. Yeah, definitely. That was unfortunate. I both these swap characters again. I think like Ken, like uh, Ryu's a pretty good pick in terms of how he was approaching the matchup just now. I think he just had to be a little bit more cautious about when he went in and out. This might be the last game in today's weekly.
Yeah, this might be the last game of today's weekly. Or, or Noob 47 will pull out all the stocks and show us a miraculous clutch of the century. <laughs> yeah, he is a little bit closer to cracking the Steve code. But of course, Yeats with the deep pockets, he might actually counterpick a character if he drops a game. Yeah. So, yeah. we'll never know. But, will New Poison swap, swap, swap to another character and once again? We will have might. to see. Although the Ryu did seem like it was working yeah. out for him. Yeah, the, yeah, he's gonna go Ryu again, yeah, I figure. The Ryu definitely will also work out for him. So, we'll have to see what happens now. Mm -hmm. As compared to the, uh... Ken. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot who we played in game one, I can't believe it. Junk with the goldfish memory. <laughs> they they remember apparently up to six months away. Yeah, he... he it's he forgets, even worse than that. He forgets his opponent's habits the next time he ledge traps them. Yeah, every, every ledge trap feels like a fresh ledge trap. Yeah, it feels like Maybe that's a blessing. That's a curse and a blessing. Yeah, it is curse and a blessing. Okay. Yeats. Wow. The Anvil just tanks through the focus attack. Yep. Like... Noob 47 actually chose to bring it to a much smaller stage this time around. Yeah, yeah I like I like the smaller stage pick because uh, it it allows um it gives PKs less space to mine and like uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it just gives yeah. PKs less space to mine and like less space to set up his like uh, materials. His walls. And, yeah. yeah. Just, Although like, really one of the trade offs that I should mention is that uh, Yeats gets to use the axe to mine materials, which is slightly faster. Yeah. So if he ends up uh, losing stocks, this could actually oh, snowball break. against Noob 47. I got spoiled. I didn't see that far into the oh, future. No. I, I'm sure you're I not gonna kill though. I think Noob 47, maybe he should have went for a fully charged forward smash instead. Then again, I'm not a Shoto ex expert. I don't know if forward, fu a fully charged forward smash will actually kill earlier. I had that so, same instinct. It looks like Yeats is trying to minecart over the Hadoukens. Yeah, but I I think if uh Noob that down tilt missed because the side B windbox pushed him. Or not windbox, but you know, Noob 47 kind of just turns into a a, a push block a push. A pushy object after the hitbox disappears. The this TNT's still there. Almost yeah, combos into out of the back here. It's quite a kerfuffle right now. I don't it really is. know what's happening. It's, it seems like a crazy scramble scenario, and Piki's ease is just kind of capitalizing all of, all of these scramble scenarios that he's been creating. That's kind of how the Steve gameplay goes: create scrambles, then win them. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. I think. I think Very difficult to deal with that minecart. You need to roll out of the way, but of course, you don't get a true punish on it if you do. Yeah, it's looking pretty rough right now. Ooh, I like the anvil setup, but uh, I think he was a little bit off the mark on the sweet spot of the anvil. Mm -hmm. So, we will have to see now. They're both on even stocks and like almost even percent still, so. I would like to see Doom 47 do something like that where he blows out the TNT and takes stock of PK Yeats. Giving him a taste nice. of his own medicine. Alright. Uh huh. Okay. Yeats going to and now draft the diamond set. PK. Oh my god. Another shield break. This time coming out from PK Yeats. Breaking Doom 47's Ouch. shield. Wow. These are very explosive games. That was unexpected because. uh. It only took two moves, the minecart and the the back here on the shield. Yeah, it, 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 this just proves how crazy these characters can be. And it proves how crazy the game can be. Oh boy, pickaxe loops. Yeah. PKE it's not going to get to punish on the air dodge, but still he has a lot of moves. That is death! And game three will go oh my. to seven. <laughs> That's exactly what he was hoping for in the last hit of game two. Yeah. And right now, Loop 47 will be taking a game. And uh, we will see if New 47 can make a MKLeo-esque comeback. Perhaps he can. Maybe. If that game was anything to go off of. Uh, we also have to remember that game 2 went to last stock last hit. So yeah. it wasn't exactly a comfortable win for Yeats. Yeah, so New 47 just slowly climbing his way back. Kind of like making small adaptations here and then between games and finally he's able to take one. But this could all go down the drain if PK decides to Counterpick to a completely different character. Oh yeah, that is on the table. 
Yeah. With someone like PK, it's definitely possible. He has a deep pocket of interesting characters, which could all be potentially played. And could all potentially capitalize on matchup and experience for just one game. Yeah, definitely. No, we're still gonna stick with the Enderman, alright? I think he's just confident in it. Yeah. I like it. I like it when somebody sticks to the one character throughout an entire set. Well, it shows that they're sure of themselves, yeah. their mentality is in the right place. Or maybe sometimes it's just because they can only play one character, haha. <laughs> oh, Yeats is obviously not one of those people anymore. Yeah, definitely not. He Actually, he hasn't been for a while. He does have... He, he has a lot of characters. He does. I think ever, ever since he entered the online era, he's been picking up a lot of pockets, but when he played offline, I think he only played Lupus. Yeah. I guess yeah. that you have to start somewhere. There's yeah. nothing wrong with only being able to play one character. Wait, that forwarder hit and then it could... It's a lot of crazy interactions right now. Okay, TNT onto the anvil. Or anvil onto the TNT. Close it up with the minecart. Ooh. Wow. That TNT placement is extremely smart or extremely risky, I can't tell. It's both. <laughs> Yeats yeah. is a gambler, as we have seen with the hero yeah, set. Yeah, definitely with the hero set, he's definitely a gambler. Uh, Yeats is trying to uh, minecart over the Hadoukens, but it's not working out for him. Noob needing to recover here. Ooh, I... yeah... Bashed out a bit too early and Piki just caught the jump. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> of course, Yeats gets to react to whatever mash that Noob 47 decides to put out there. Yeah, and Noob 47 immediately retaliating into a down tilt down into a tight B. Yep. And the game is now a two stop game, looking like kind of like Smash 4. Oh yeah. Whoa, that looked like a super jump from a different game, from a different fighting game. Eats going to be unable to get the punish on the DP. Ooh, but he gets a grab. The crafting table ruins the combo! That's crazy. That is kind of nuts. It does it again! <laughs> this is the, the griefingest crafting table ever. I think it was kind of just like how uh, Sine Wave broke the crafting table as Yezen was about to craft the, uh, his diamond weapons last week. Yeah. That was quite an interesting interaction, yeah. Right. I think people could exper experiment with a lot of cheeky things using the crafting table. Mm -hmm. I think that does have a lot of potential for development. That is quite mm -hmm. an interesting area we can think about. This is so close. Eats. Needs materials. Doesn't have iron. Noob needs to close out the stock here, Shakunetsu, he gets the ledge trap. What's it gonna be? Tries to cover options to down tilt, but doesn't get the mark. PK it's gonna whiff punish. That's an inverted L. <laughs> Noob 47 having a little... The cobblestone wall. And now he eats. Going to drop his stock. Or not. Oh I, wow, I, I, I that's huge damage. The diamond tools bringing out like 72% already of the diamond tool combo into the... Uh, yeah, all it takes is one slip up, you just have to be paying attention for not one second and then suddenly you're at 72 and suddenly you need to not okay, think about... He, gets, he is? Yeah, he gets the air rogers to a legend gets forward smash for his Oh my goodness. Uh, and that will be it. It will be uh 3-1 in PK Eats' favor. And this Congratulations will be... to Eats. And this will be the first time PKs wins a tournament. So congratulations work. to him. Good work. Yeah, that final that final forward smash on the the air dodge caught Noob. I think Noob Forty Seven was trying to mash out of the minecart, but he accidentally buffered an air dodge in, and yeah, then Eats is able to get the reaction. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate, but you know, in in real tournament sets, we take those. That is true. Well, that was the tenth installment of Where Is My Land Cable. Thanks Wait, to everybody there, for coming. More. There is more. more? Since there's when? More. There's more. That's right. PKs has to hop back in the arena. We're gonna have Thug Finals. Maybe. What? Who's who's the who's the other finalist? Well, we were about to have Thug Finals again, finally. But it seems like since PKs left the arena, we we are going. We are not going to have the additional match, unfortunately. Good oh thing, boy. Uh, reacted so quickly. Yeah, he just like took the three one and dipped. Yeah, he's like, I don't want I don't want any of this anymore. I just wanna I'm take gone. I'm gone. I'm vanished. Yeah. I'm disappeared. See you next week. 
yeah, I guess that will be it for this week. And uh, we'll see you guys next week for Worlds by Land Cable 11. Goodbye. Bye.